ATM 1027 East Northside Bridge Replacement Project. My name is Sandeep Upteti, and I'm the project manager with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department. Uh, before I start my presentation, uh, I would like to ask if any council representative want to say something. No. Am I loud enough? Uh, yes, can Cindy, we can hear you. I think you can move on. Okay. This, this presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the project scope and proposed improvement and upcoming construction schedule. Here is the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. Uh, first, I'll be talking about the project as a whole, providing a summary of improvements providing construction information and anticipated construction schedule, then we'll open up uh, for the questions and comments. The next slide provides a general overview of the project. The project site is located approximately 10 minutes north of city of Fort Worth downtown. This bridge project is located at the site where East North Side Drive passes over Samuel Avenue. The next two slides provide information regarding the existing condition and summary of improvements. Here are the representative photos of the existing condition of the bridge. There appears to be several cracks developed between the structural elements. Loss of soil mass beneath the abutment is also observed. There was damage to a guard, guardrail and uh, the breeze wing wall also does not conform to the current vehicle capacity standard. Takes that the periodic inspection of the breeze in the past, based on the report, a full replacement of the breeze structure was proposed. The scope of improvement for this project include removal of existing breeze structure and foundation, reconstruction of existing asphalt pavement approach, construction of new bridge foundation, including new concrete deck, widening of sidewalk, installing uh, installation of guardrail and wing wall. The next couple of slides provide construction information and discuss the impact of construction on traffic at East North Side and Samuel Side in The East North Side bridge reconstruction is planned to be constructed in two phases. And the East North Side traffic would be open to traffic all the times. In the first phase, westbound lanes are closed and traffic shifted to eastbound lanes, providing one eastbound and one westbound lane. As you can see on the top right picture. The closed bridge section will then be demolished and reconstructed. In the second phase, eastbound lanes are closed and traffic shifted to newly constructed westbound lanes, providing one eastbound and one westbound lane. The closed eastbound bridge section will then be demolished and reconstructed. Section 
Same Hills Avenue between intersection of 16th Street and 14th Street will be closed to traffic for the entire construction period from March 11, 2024 to January 4, 2025 for public safety. Viable detour options are shown in the detour map. The detour through option one, uh, Northeast 23rd Street and Port Spring, East Bell Map and North Main Street seems to be a viable option. Detour signage will be posted prior to the start of any construction. There is also a Trinity Metro bus route. Uh, you can see in the test picture. There is one stop between 16th and 14th Street. Trinity Metro is planning to use North Park Drive to cut through. So you can report emergency or non emergency by calling the numbers provided there. Uh, you, you can also download my FW app uh, from App Store or Google Play and then input brief description, put photos, and other uh, features to get the response from the city team. So this this date shows shown out the anticipated construction is scheduled for this project. The construction starts on March 11, 2024. Phase one westbound road closure and diversion of traffic to eastbound lane are expected to be completed in mid April 2024. Demolition and reconstruction of the closed section takes approximately four and a half to five months. And uh, it should be completed by the end of August 24. Uh, phase two, eastbound road closure and diversion of traffic to the newly constructed westbound lane are expected to be completed by the end of August 2024. And uh, demolition and reconstruction of the closed eastbound section would be from September to December. And uh, the contractor expects that the project would complete, uh, the construction would complete it by January for 2025. If you would like to stay updated on this project, uh, please go to the first link below. You can also go to the portwartexas.gov and enter the project number 102097 to get information throughout the project. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up this meeting for questions or comments. So at this point, if you want to unmute yourself uh, to ask a question, uh, we'll be taking those now. Or like we said at the beginning, you you are free to put your messages in the chat and we can get to those as well. Okay, so I do see one question in the chat. This question is, will the area be completely closed at any time? So the area that will be completely closed is the uh, is Samuels Avenue between 16th and 14th. 
uh, street, so the, the section of Samuels that goes underneath the bridge. So we'll have that section of road closed for the entirety of the project, uh, just for safety reasons, because uh, we'll be the demo, the old bridge, construct the new bridge, there will be large equipment through there. And so that section will be completely closed during the entire entirety of the project. So the plan is to keep East North Side Drive open and, uh, and at least one of the, uh, um, on one of the bridge decks, so one lane in each direction uh, for the entirety of the project. Let me know if that answers your question. Okay, so I see another question in the chat, another couple of questions. Uh, the first question is a concern about traffic uh, when there is a train passing, will there be extra signage? Um, I'm gonna follow up on your question. Do you mean uh, additional signage to let residents know that there is a, that there's a train crossing? people to be, oh, so the, the question is, will there be extra signage uh, for people to be cautious around the, the railroads? I'll have to look at our traffic control plan, but that is something that we could consider. Uh, the other question I see is, uh, will businesses in that immediate area be affected? Um, so we're planning to have, have detours around the closure that are available to anybody who needs to use Samuel. Um, as far as East Northside Drive, the only section that I believe where uh, we are diverting traffic is right there at the bridge. So uh, the on-ramp and off-ramp off of off of East Northside Drive shouldn't be affected. Um, I'll let the uh, I'll, I'll let the, the contractor verify uh, what I'm saying on that. That appears to be the case at this point in time, Greg. All right, thank you. Please let me know if that answers your question. Cindy, go ahead and move to the next slide with our contact information on it while we wait and see uh, if there's any more questions. So if you have any question during any point of time, uh, it is my contact information. You can also talk to the construction inspector. Uh, his, his name is Curtis and uh, his number is there. Uh, okay, I do see another question in the chat. Will emergency response be notified of the detours? Uh, yes. Uh, not necessarily of the of the lane shift on north side, but of the lane closure or the road closure on uh, on Samuel.
uh, it looks like we don't have any more questions, but if you have any question in future, then you can call us, you can send us an email. We will respond to you. Again, thank you everyone for joining this meeting and I would like to adjourn this meeting. Thank you. Thank you all.